I'm Jo and this is my Top 5 Wednesday video. Top 5 Wednesday was started by Lainey at Ginger Reads Lainey and it is also a group on Goodreads. The topic for this week is Top 5 Rereads. I came up with 4 and then I have one that I want to reread. So first we're going to start with Charles Dickens, A Christmas Carol, which is extremely fitting for this time. I got so much out of this book. First of all, Dickens invented Christmas like the modern Christmas as we know it. It was actually not really celebrated in the 16th and 17th centuries in England. It was just another day. The people were very poor. They didn't get the day off work. And this book focuses more on benevolence than on religion. I generally think of the older centuries being more religious. I mean, there were so many religious things going on. This book is not about religion. This is just about being good to the poor people, especially poor children. And I should probably do an entire video on this book alone. The next is The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. I could read this book, I think, every single month. And really, none of the characters are likable, but I love this book so much. It is awesome. I love it. Their Eyes Were Watching God by Zora Neale Hurston. This is my new edition. This is the 75th anniversary edition that I read this past summer, I think. It was a reread for me, and I think I got even more out of it the second time that I read it than the first time, because the second time you know the basics of the plot, and I felt like I was able to sort of read more between the lines and understand more what was going on with the characters because I wasn't focused on what's happening or what's going to happen next or getting concerned about them because I know what's going to happen. And yes, it's heartbreaking every time you read it, but I was just able to see more of the issues that were presented and just enjoy it in a completely different way. So. This is a must read for every woman and man. This is a must read for every person in the planet. I love it so much. And this is just a beautiful edition. And I love how it has the B on the spine also. And as you can see, I mean, I have sticky notes all through this book. And last but not least for my rereads is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. This is one of those books that I could read every year and it's like reading it the first time. Although, like with their eyes, we're watching God, I know what's happening and I can focus more on the little things and I now know more about this time period and their customs and just the everyday life because I've read more about this time period and I love this time period and rereading a book especially classics, I think really gives them a whole nother depth. It's almost like reading a whole new story. And every time I read this, when it gets to Darcy proposing to Lizzie, I read it really, really carefully, trying to extrapolate even more information out of that very intense, private scene. I love the way that Jane Austen did that. She didn't give us all the details and kept it private. I, I felt like keeping it private and not giving us every single detail made it even sweeter and even more sacred. I just loved it. I love that. And I, I don't know, I could go on about this book all day long. It's just another that everyone needs to read. Oh, Jane Austen, how I love you. Then my book that I want to reread, I read this book when I was in ninth grade and I enjoyed it then, but I definitely feel that now, several years later, I will get even more out of it. And that is To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. So this book. There are a lot of themes in it, and while they are somewhat simple themes, and I was able to grasp them as a ninth grader, 
I just feel like I will get even more out of it now, partially being a parent and having a different perspective on the world I want my children to grow up in. I think that I will empathize even more with Atticus than, because last time it was more like I sympathized with Scout. So I think that I will empathize more with Atticus and just get a whole nother experience out of this book, reading it older and more well read. And also, even though I enjoyed it when I was in the ninth grade, there's just a certain attitude you have about books when you're being forced to read them. So I think that reading this at my leisure because I want to just helps enjoy it even more. So that's the book that I want to reread. So those are my books. If you do this tag, let me know so I can check out your video and let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite book to reread? And I will talk to you later. Bye.